All right. I might need to adjust audio, by the way, because it was like really loud when I opened it earlier. So um, forgive me if it's very loud. Seems like it's not. So I think we're good. So we just arrived at this little, uh, I guess it was like a sanctuary within the forest. We didn't get to talk to anyone yet though, but I'm very interested in talking to the people here, especially this lady. This lady looks cool. Asol says you like to cook. Made a tenderloin with small potatoes and broccoli last night. Mmm. Ooh, I love meat and potatoes together. That sounds good. Libra. Nice name. Talk to the face, not the tail. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't talking to your tail, I don't think. I, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I get because you're two pixel, you're two blocks wide. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> hey, it's Vino. Hi, Vino. Your brain is fried. How are you? Um, my brain is always fried, so not too different. <laughs> but doing good. How are you feeling, Vino? How's Itamar doing? Oh, she's got books. I think we own almost all these books. Money bags. Money burning a hole in your pocket? Try these uses for it. Teaches gold gun, shiny distraction, and emergency healthcare. <laughs> and then a barred one. I mean, I cut, I've been buying all the books just to have them. I'm gonna buy that, because why not? <laughs> Apparently, Inamar had a sleep. Had a slip. A slip, or a, did, did he slip, or did he sleep? These are two different things. Two different responses here. If he had a sleep, uh, good for good for Inamar. If he had a slip, uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Welcome to my shop, travelers. I am Libra. If you have the coin, I'd be willing to part with some of my valuables. Wow, some of these seem pretty rare. Where'd you get these? I can assure you, all of these spellbooks here were acquired legitimately. Why did you say it like that? Like what, pray tell? Like in a way that makes it sound like you definitely didn't acquire this stuff legitimately? What are you, a cop? <laughs> Does the source of my wares really matter when you're trying to save the world? How did you know the world is at stake? Lucky guess. You hero types are all the same. Always soft trying to stop one global threat or another. It's a tough world out there. I'm just trying to get by with my totally 100% legally obtained goods. And these books won't curse us or anything? Do you want them to curse you? That costs extra. Now nah, we're good. About well, Bartholomew. Sorry if this seems totally random, but would you happen to know an old wizard by the name of Bartholomew Leon? I haven't heard that name in a while. But yes, I've met the old codger. What makes you think I would know him? Is it because I seem like the villainous type? Yes. Fair enough. I've just always been curious about him. He tells so many stories about his time as a villain, but how much of that is true? Oh, lots of them, I'm sure. He was quite fearsome in his youth, always trying to conquer reverie. He never succeeded on that front, of course, but it's the bravado that matters. He still comes up in the villain circles from time to time as an influential figure. Uh, not that I would be privy to such conversations. But he gave it all up to raise his daughter. A waste of his talents, if you ask me. I suppose it was impressive that he created his little Catherine in a cauldron with dark magics, though. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Ex excuse me? What? What, you didn't know? No, I did not know that. Old Bartholomew never married, so he created a successor on his own. Oh, I guess that would explain why I didn't see a grandma figure. I just thought maybe, I don't know, she was dead or something. Of course, little Catherine turned out painfully normal. Now his granddaughter, Pepper, on the other hand, she's going places. 
She's got a dark future ahead of her. Uh, not that I would condone committing any crimes or acts of villainy as a law-abiding merchant. What do you need? Yeah, thanks, Libra. <laughs> Thank you, Libra. I really appreciate that. Let's see what you got. Mint. Very cute. What can I do for you? What do you got in your shop? Ooh, a lot of stuff in your shop. Oh, sorry. I'm so sniffly. I just, uh, before streaming, I went to the park to take Coda, my dog, out. Just so you could, you know, get some time outside. But, oh my god, the allergies are so bad right now. There's so much pollen in the air. It is killing me. It is killing me. <laughs> Thankfully, my allergy medicine abates most of the symptoms, like the itchy eyes and the itchy ears and stuff. But, uh, it does not seem to take care of the sniffles. So, sorry about that. I'll try to meet myself when I need to blow my nose. Okay. Golden Gauntlet. That would be good for... Hmm. I would want it on Jody or Melody, but it doesn't seem like it's an improvement, so no thank you. Lunar Wand. Um, we have Lunar Wands. Fairy Hammer. Ooh. Cute but deadly and heavier than Mint's entire body. Can't equip a spellbook while wielding. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I need to buy the hammer for somebody, right? Come on. I need to buy the hammer for somebody. I think probably Allison. Allison, I never really use her spellbooks too much. Okay, um, silver plate armor. That might be good for... Oh, but there's mithril armor. Oh my god, that's what I should be spending my money on. Hmm. Oh my god, these are expensive, but totally worth it. Uh, shoot. Shoot. Who do I want to buy? I probably want to buff up Jody's defenses. But I can't buy both. I don't have enough. So I will buy this for Jody, And then I'll buy this for me. Oh, you want to chat? What about? Hi, the name's Finn. Purveyor of the finest fairy forged armor. And yes, I can guarantee that all my gear is in mint condition. Hey, I was going to make that joke. Everyone always does. So at some point I just started making it for them. Wait, Jody? Hey, good to see you. You two know each other? There are only so many blacksmiths on the Sapphire Islands. It's a pretty tight-knit community. But hey, glad to see you've got your own little shop set up here. That's awesome. I can't say I'm familiar with fairy forged armor. What makes it special compared to regular steel? Well, it was forged by a fairy. That's pretty much it. No special effects? Hey, cut me some slack. Look at how small I am. I'm itty bitty. It's impressive I can even swing a hammer this size. Min's being humble, but trust me, her stuff is worth every penny. I guess the rumors were true, though, huh, Jody? You really are an adventurer now. You're gonna give it smithing for good? It'd be a shame with your talent. Huh? Oh, I don't know. I'm focusing on the guild right now, but maybe when things settle down, I'll make some gear for the gang. Actually, that gives me an idea. Nice. Oh, uh, I mean, don't do that. You should buy your gear for me instead. You could stand to work on your salesmanship, Mint. Eh, what can I say? I'm an artist, a capitalist. What can I do for you? Uh, what about the sanctuary? So what brought you to Noel's sanctuary, Mint? Fairies are naturally drawn to places with lots of magic, and this place is off the charts. I can't really explain it. It's an instinctual thing for us. We can choose to ignore it, but it just feels right. Come to think of it, I'm not sure I'm aware of any fairy towns on the archipelago. Oh, there's little furry settlements all over. We just tend to keep to ourselves. I mean, it's nothing personal, but fairy buildings just aren't designed for people your size. So we don't get many outsider visitors. I like to get out and meet new people, though, so it's nice to settle down in a place like this. Lots of interesting folks pass by here. Also, Noelle doesn't charge rent for my stall. That's a plus. Why does it feel like Green Ridge is the only place on the Sapphire Islands where I have to pay rent? We gotta do something about this. What can I do to you? 
Or for you, not to you. <laughs> what can I do to you? Mint, you gave me a great idea. Oh, really? What would that be? I want your help forging a weapon for myself. Interesting. I'd be down for a collab. What kind of weapon did you have in mind? I was thinking... A shield. A shield is not a weapon, Jody. I mean, you ever been bashed by a shield before? As a general rule, I try not to. Not fair point. Well, we could make a regular steel shield, but it sounds like you want something more premium. How about this? You bring me some rare ore, and I'll help you make a shield out of it. Deal. We'll keep an eye out for suitable materials. Alright. That sounds like it'd be awesome for Jody. Alright, let's equip the new stuff. So I got this. And then... Wait, what? Oh, it was a headpiece, right? I should also sell some stuff. Um... Oh, that's right. She doesn't even use the freaking. She doesn't even use a well. Okay, so I can do this. So currently, um, her magic defense is very good. I could make it a little bit better by giving her the minor helmet, but it would lower her attack a bit. Not a huge bit, but I do like her high attack. And I mean, Jody is there to get attacked by things, so I think it's fine. See. Do I make her a bard, maybe? I'm gonna try the bard book on her, just to see what it's like. And I, I'm gonna keep Chronomancer, because I like Chronomancer on her. Um, Let me sell my extra stuff. Sell. Whoops, I did not mean to sell my thingy. Damn it. Um... Shoot, I did not mean to buy it and sell those bandages. Well, that's fine. I mean, I could go back to my save point and redo that. <laughs> um, how do I reload? Okay, there we go. I don't need to do the whole conversations again. I already know what I bought. I bought this one. And this, this, and this. And then she talked. 
I need to just skip this convo really quick. Do, 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 do. And then quest. There we go. Because I do want to get shield for Jody. That seems like it'd be very good for her. All right. Um, let me equip the new stuff. Matted nine hype, matted nine hype, matted nine ah. hype, matted nine hype. <laughs> Hello, Matted Fur. Good to see you. How are you doing? There we go. Need some provisions. Let's see, what can I get? Raphael, can you tell us more about these treasure maps? Matted nine hype. <laughs> so many matted nine hypes. How's Monster Hunter going, by the way? You're only asking this now, after your purchase? To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure what treasures these maps lead to. It could be gold, or perhaps an item of particular value. I sourced them from a friend I would trust with my life, though, so rest assured, they're quite genuine. Need some revisions. Um... Ah, if it isn't my little paladin friend from the other day. You're certainly a long way from Greenridge. I take it your adventuring duties are going well. Well, things have been eventful, that's for sure. You have no idea. You're right, I'm not a mind reader. I'm surprised to bump into you again, though. I thought you'd be off on the Sapphire, off the Sapphire Islands by now. That was the plan, yes. But as you no doubt know, adventurers often need to change plans on the fly. I intended to drop off a small shipment here in Lee, but with the islands currently cut off from the mainland, I've been forced to stay longer. Oh, haven't streamed in ages. We are having power issues in the country. Still? Oh my goodness. I hope things are going to get better soon. Jeez. I just thought I've been missing your streams because I know <laughs> our time zones don't exactly match up. Really sorry to hear that. It's just getting worse? Ugh. I'm really sorry about that. They have to resolve it, right? I mean, power is pretty essential. <laughs> oh, jeez. In the meantime, I've set up shop here. If I'm going to be stuck here, I might as well make a few sales. How's business? The news reporter over yonder makes his little assistant run over and ask for a diet potion about every two hours. I don't sell diet potions if such a thing exists. They aren't soda. The imp knows this, of course, but is forced to come and ask about it anyway. He then has to trot back to his boss, ask if a regular potion is okay, and return to me to buy a single potion. We have done this 15 times now. I'm not even sure how Mr. Man drinks them, given his condition. But I'm not one to turn down a sale. Speaking of sales, need some provisions? We now have 12 hours of power per day. So you, so you gotta really decide- is it like a specific 12 hours? I'm gonna make that a new save just in case I wanna, uh, not spend that money for any reason. I let them do the talking. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mariana. Hey, look who it is. What are our favorite bards doing out here? We were going to go hang out in the tavern, but they serve alcohol in there. We bow to never break edge. You know, they wouldn't just hand you a drink unprompted without seeing your IDs, right? Regardless. Each day runs its own schedule. You get turned off three to four times a day for two to four hours at a time. Ugh. I guess I could see that they're trying to spread it out, but... Ugh. <laughs> but it's... But if you're in the middle of doing something... 
I meant more like, what are you doing in the valley? Testing our metal as bards, of course. But, uh, well, you've seen how it's out there right now. It's pure chaos. We're lucky we made it here. Those frog balls are bloodthirsty. So we decided our metal has been sufficiently tested, and we're just chilling here in the sanctuary. But we haven't had forgotten our other bow. No wonder we pay you for saving us from that block of ice. We're still brainstorming that one. We'll get back to you. What about, I don't know, using your bardly skills to write us a commercial jingle for our guild? No one watches TV anymore, Grandma. Well, it was nice catching up with you. <laughs> Grandma. Can't stream, can't use new 3D printer. Gotta get an electrician to come and install an inverter system. Ah. Oh yeah, that would be that would be pretty impossible with prints, huh? Yeah. Ugh. There's a lot of fun characters in here. I think I wanna talk to the possum first. Vicky. Nobody here yet. If you need a room, though, it's 100G. Hi. Would you happen to know if anything interesting is going on around here that we should know about? What, you think you can just waltz in as total strangers and expect me to dish out of the hot goss? Is that what you make think tavern keepers do? Yes. Well, good, because I'm just pulling your legs. I do love some good gossip. You seen that weird magician who hangs around the lake? Fauna, I think it was. What a character. I'm sure she'd have some interesting leads for you. If you want something less crazy, maybe try talking to Mint, the blacksmith. She's a good egg, that one. She made the swords and shields and the walls there. Oh, and that hot wolf guy over by the vendor stalls is trying to sell some treasure maps. I don't trust mysterious merchants who roll into town and start trying to pot off treasure maps, but hey, maybe you do. Madden first says for the QOD, eat, OMG, if I could just have tasty foods spawn out of thin air, I'd be in heaven. Hate making food. <laughs> oh my god, I would love if I could just summon whatever food I want. But I think that's also called um, having a snack o made. <laughs> I would love to have all the good foods all the time. Grove. Oh, she's cute. Lots of interesting people around here lately. That woman who stands in the center of the sanctuary and keeps shouting and posing dramatically is especially interesting. It's usually not quite so loud around here if you were wondering. Just give me free Whamburgers. There's the <laughs> Listen, I, guys, I know you guys want the Whamburger franchise, but I don't have it. I'm the life of the party. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. He's having a good time. I respect that. What a legend, not a Bella. <laughs> they're just they're just watching them dance. Whoops. We can't take her anywhere. She has one hard lemonade and she gets like this. That's me when I drink Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> hey, are you open to taking unsolicited advice from a stranger? Sure. Oh, I suppose so. When's the last time you swapped out those spell books you got there? It's easy to get into a rut using the same thing, but if you never know, you never know if other options might come in handy if you try them out. I know it's a bestseller for a reason, but there's more options for healing than just magical girl. What would you suggest then? Hey, I'm not out to tell you how to live your life. It sounds like you are. Only a little. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should take the magical girl spell book off of Melody? Do you think I should try something new with her? And before, instead of giving you the 3D model, I just make Whamburg and give you that instead. No, <laughs> no not a Whamburg, please. <laughs> I'm already haunted enough by Nova with that. This looks interesting. Please, no requests for autographs, folks. Oh, uh, sorry, but I don't think we actually know who you are. You wound me, kid. The name's Hugman. Huge man. Intrepid human reporter for Kingdom News. I'm here investigating the strange events that have this little island in a tizzy. A sudden increase in monster attacks. Electromagnetic disturbances. What a scoop. I'm calling it Monster Geddon. 
You wouldn't happen to have any idea what the hell's going on, would you? Uh, I don't think I want to tell him. No, no, sorry. Damn, this place is all dead ends, just like my love life. Guess it really is up to me to crack this case. I thought you were a journalist, not a detective. I like to blur that line. Well, if you do get any leads, be sure to fill me in. I can get you on TV, you know. <laughs> Huge man, sus. <laughs> I think Japan have colored bur burger buns. Imagine a pink burger. I know I've definitely seen that. I think around the time pretty patties were a thing. I know I've seen people try to make pretty patties. <laughs> Although I think some of them were just macaroons. Um, do you guys think I should tell him what's going on? I kind of don't want to, but maybe I could. We are just supposed to do a puff piece on a tavern here, but now we're stuck in the middle of the woods during some kind of crisis. And to make matters worse, now Mr. Man thinks Monster Getting Stuff is the story of the century that's going to win him some award. Even if it was, there's no reception. We can't go live. I better get overtime for this. Too sus. I agree. He is too sus. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, she looks fun. Hello. Hello there. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't like the way she's staring, though. Uh, I'm not comfortable with the way she's staring right at me. <laughs> Hello. I am Fauna. Hold on, I'm going to take a screenshot of this for Enma. <laughs> I think Enma would enjoy this. Fanma? You mean Enma? Oh my god, it is! It's so close to Enma! <laughs> Hi, always good to meet a fellow spellcaster. Please, I am no mere spellcaster. I am a magician. Do you guys like my voice for her? <laughs> I am able to peer deep into one's very soul. If one gazes long enough, my amazing mirror is able to reflect one's true self. Remind me to be careful around that mirror. Wow, I bet you've seen some interest you've been on some interesting adventures with the skill set like that, Fauna. I mostly do children's birthday parties. However, if you have any use for my skills that does not involve entertaining children age six to eleven. The work would be appreciated. Uh, actually, that might come in handy. Let's talk to her more when we have a moment. <laughs> Maybe we can use that to entertain the shop kids. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, you also look very interesting. Greetings, fellow travelers. I'm Yasmin. Pleased to meet you. I'm a researcher for the archaeology department at Brightport University. This valley is a gold mine for someone in my field. No one says that anything of value in the sanctuary was plundered long before they made this place their home, but that's not true. I mean, look at the stonework here. It's so intricate. Why, yes, Fauna, I actually have a birthday party next week if you could attend. <laughs> Fauna will be there! Too sweet! But are there children aged 6 to 11? If not, I will not come. Too many of those. The style seems to date these ruins back to around the start of the Arcane Era. Well, the stories these bricks could tell us. Judging from the state of this place, it's probably not a very happy story. Very astute. In fact, I have reason to believe that some sort of catastrophe had struck this place centuries ago. How intriguing. Well, it was nice to meet you, Jasmine. Yasmin. <laughs> Sorry. We'll quit interrupting your research now. Okie doke. Let me know if you're in need of my expertise. Alright. Um, oh. Hello? Hi, Noelle. What's this problem you need our help with? Yes, well, normally I would be low to turn to complete strangers for help with a task like this, but the circumstances are... dire. You see, this is an animal sanctuary and, well... Do you notice something missing? I'm going to guess... 
I mean, there's no restrooms here, obviously. The restrooms? No, what? No. <laughs> there are restrooms in the tavern. I mean the animals. My little animal friends have all gone missing. The ruckus with the monsters made them panic and run off. They can't have gone far, right? It shouldn't take us too long to search the valley for them. That's the problem, though. They could be anywhere on the Sapphire Islands by now. They're probably hiding in obscure, hard-to-reach places where they think they'll be safe. Maybe even in chests. Plus, there are eight of them in total, so that's a lot of animals for one elemental to track down. I know it's a lot to ask, but while you're out adventuring, do you think you could look for my animal companions? Yeah, say no more! Well, I'll find your animals, Noelle. Thank you for your help. In exchange for your efforts, I prepared some rewards in these chests here. I'll give you one unique piece of gear for every two animals you find. My crystal ball to the left can help you narrow your search. If you have any further questions, I'll be here. More side quests, but you know what? That's fine. I love to avoid the main story. Two critters lie here in the valley. Two critters lie on the outskirts of Green Ridge. One deep below ground, another surrounded by water. One critter lies in a previously inaccessible region of the Amber Woods. One critter lies in the Celestial Wasteland near Mumford. One critter lies in a dark and ominous place in the Wasteland. Great. <laughs> did it, okay, did you guys memorize all that? Did you guys get that? You had your notepad, your notepads out, right? Great. All right. Let's do the, um, Hmm. Okay, so there is a bridge with a single tree next to it. There's a treasure there. And then there is a diamond shape in a cave. Alright. And then we need to find rare ore to do that one. We need to find lost critters. Okay, but it says there's two here. Is it this? Is it this? Look at the little bunny! It's like a little Allison! Can we keep it? One of me is already enough of a handful. Is this not it? Okay, that's not the animal, I guess. <laughs> um... God, it would help if I knew what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, let me see again. Two in the valley. Okay. So I guess uh, we'll just start looking in the valley. Doesn't hurt. I got a shirt when I was in uh, MFF in December. It's from Tea Turtle and it says, I'm not procrastinating, I'm doing side quests. True! That I like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the sanctuary there. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just look around. Time to go a looking for critters. Keep your guys, guys, keep your eyes peeled for critters. Well, there's a chest over there. That seems important. How do I get to that chest? Let me see. Um, I have to go all the way around, I guess. There's a bridge over there. So I have to go down. Can I make this? Okay, these flowers are really starting to get in the way now. We need to find a way to deal with these. Yeah, uh, we do. So let, uh, oh god, the armor. Hold on, we're gonna flee from this. And you know what, just for fun, um, because that one person said to try it, I will change her spell book. Do I change the spellbook again? There it is. I will try a different spellbook with her. Um. I 
I get let's try alchemist. I don't think I've tried alchemist. Ooh, chest. Oh wait, no, I can't even go over there because I don't know how to deal with the flowers. How do I deal with the stupid flowers? I haven't learned how to do that yet. Because I cannot go there without the flower thingy. There has to be something I can do. Let me think. There's a question mark over there, and there's a question mark there. I can go to the one on the left, it looks like. So let's make our way to the left. Um, no. God, this forest is painful. Can I even go there? I'm right there. Go down. How do I get up there? I need the flowers to get up there, don't I? Gosh darn flowers! How can I... Wait, if I go into the sanctuary, it looks like there's a place to go down. This episode is called Wamulet Tries to Read a Map and Fails. Okay, yeah, if I go down here, this takes me around here. All right, that's good. Hey, loser. Oh my god. Uh, hello, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Uh, I just want to attack you. But first, we need to do, as always, we need to kiss Allison. Oh, did I not heal? I did not heal my MP at all. Whoops. Oh, wait, did I not switch Claire's book? I guess I didn't. I thought I switched her to Bard. It's fine. Let's uh let's taunt so it attacks Jody more. Cartography 101 with Lamb. My specialty. Why do they always go for Claire? Claire is just trying her best to be alive. Let's do that. Barrier on her. God, that thing does a lot of damage. <laughs> what is what can I do with this? Transform a spare potion into an alchemical bomb. Deal arcane damage to one target and leave them burned. Combines healing magic of first aid with potion using both in a single action. Transform a spare antidote with, to a petrifying bomb. Deals arcane damage to one target and turns them to stone. Oh, interesting. Uh, a chemical awakening combines your healing power with that of a tier of revival to revive one KO'd friend and fully restore our HP. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's... Uh, I'm just going to try this. Actually, wait. I have a full... Hmm. Now let's try it. Uh, 
Okay, I'm actually realizing, I think I need, if I'm gonna use Allison as pure attacking, I'm gonna need someone with the, uh, the elemental blade thing so that I can boost her attacks. So I think I'm gonna try something different after this batch. Ow, ow, look at all these boulders. <laughs> Oh, let's crumple it up. Okay. Um. Oh, do I don't have the ability to heal everyone. Blast beat. Allison's strongest attack. Oh, cool. Let me do that. Why did it. Did that just quack? Did that just quack when she cast a spell? <laughs> Ooh, that was a really strong attack from Allison. <laughs> One damage. Lame. Nice. The chest was actually a mimic. Ah! Oh, hold on. We're cool, actually. Oh. Normally I would have attacked you guys for funsies, but you scared off that other monster that was giving me a hard time. So hey, here, have this. Peace! Oh. Thanks! Goodbye! <laughs> I love making friends. Um, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her a bard. And then I'm gonna give Claire back the uh what's it called? Bell blade. No, you know what? Actually, um scratch that. Scratch that. I'm gonna give you Bard. And I'm gonna give you Spellblade. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try this out. We're trying to find the optimal layout, guys. Um excuse moi. I hate these flowers. There has to be some sort of way to get around these flowers. There has to be some way around them. Please. Um, totally. Yeah, um... Totally. What do you know about this place? So, what have you learned about the sanctuary in your research, Yasmin? Oh, loads, but you probably won't want to hear about the masonry. I'm more curious about why this place is the way it is, personally. Well, like I said, there seems to have been some kind of catastrophe here centuries ago. Perhaps a large blast of magical energy. Such a display of magical power doesn't quite line up with what spellcasters were capable of in the early arcane era, though, which raises more questions. I would also suspect that whatever happened is responsible for the miscolored plant life and irradiated water in the valley, but that's merely conjecture. But what about the sanctuary? Why do the things seem better here? That's unclear to me. It's especially odd considering we're at the very center of the valley. You think the mana poisoning would be densest here? Perhaps some sort of ward or charm was placed over this place by whoever lived here while it was still intact? Every new discovery raises more questions. It's so exciting. Hey, what about all the people using the ruins as vendor stalls? Doesn't that bug you? Oh, extremely. But there's not much I can do about it without filling the paperwork to have this place recognized as a historical site. Maybe I could get Noel's help with that, and then come back here with the whole field team ready to study the ruins properly. 
Once the ongoing emergency is over and you can phone home, you mean? Huh? There's an emergency? Wow, I was so caught up in my studies, I didn't even notice. Um, you're from Brightport? Yes, indeed. Born and raised there. Hey, so we're Claire and Jody. You ever met before? I mean, Brightport is one of the biggest cities in the Beast Kingdom. The odds are astronomically low. Need something else? No. No, it doesn't look like I need anything else. Gosh! Well, that was a fat load of nothing. Hmm. There has to be some sort of way. Oh, I'm tired of you. There has to be... Let me look at the maps again. I can't go through there. Or there. These ding dang flowers. Hey, I juked you. Poison Frog and Misty Spectre. Alright, let's try out a new set. Um. Hi, Halo. My cat was watching you for a bit, lol. <laughs> Hello to your cat, too. How are you doing? Halo says for the question of the day, they prefer to eat. I mean, honestly. If you if you had to choose, why wouldn't you pick eat? Oh my god, that thing is getting so big all so quickly. Are you winning? I'm trying. I mean, battle-wise, I'm winning. But uh, in terms of like where I'm supposed to be going, um, no, the map is destroying me right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll. F I'm just missing something. There, like, there's something I have to be missing here. What is this? Okay, that's nothing. Did I piss off some magical cartographer at some point? You know, knowing me? Probably. Knowing me. <laughs> At least I can freeze that one. Oh my god. I forgot to kiss her. How did I how could I forget to kiss her, my girlfriend? <laughs> ah. What does that mean? Oh, 
hell? Am I just frozen? Great. I guess it's up to us. What? Come on, Jody, unfreeze. There we go. How could I? Listen, it's not my fault that their maps are so hard to understand. They should have made a better map. It's not my fault. What's over here? Oh, this is Amber Woods. What the? Like, look at this map. I don't even know where I am. I mean, I'm there, obviously. But I don't know how to get over there. I'm lost. I'm so lost. Like, I've been here. But that doesn't help me. I was talking about how could you forget to kiss your girlfriend, but that works too. Oh, yeah, okay. I will admit that is totally my fault. That is totally on me. Yeah, no, you're right. Wait, no, this is just her house again. I've been here. Stop acting like you know the way ahead, like you know the rules. There are no rules, man. We're lost. My rule is, um, why go where you know where to go when you can go where you don't know where to go, you know? It makes sense. There has to be a way to do the flowers. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Um... Let's look what I have. I have treasure maps. There's a big question mark over there. That seems like where I should go, is that big question mark. It said that this was previously inaccessible. There's the stupid flowers over there again, but maybe if I go to those flowers, it'll tell me how to finally unlock them. So I think that's what I'll try to do. But uh, we are going to go on a quick break. So take us a minute, guys. Stretch your legs. Get a snack if you need it. And we'll be right back in just a few moments. <laughs> 